hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel the south is right now is turned between Igbo presidency 2023 and the endorsement of it thereof and of course a uh, biafra secession a, a lot of debate is going on right now over it and nigerians are also be you know beginning to lend a voice as well and in the whole picture of the politics going on in southeast and in nigeria ipub seem to be the center of attraction of this whole thing between secession and Igbo presidency is actually hanging on IPOB. But before we go to the news report to find out the dynamics and the politics and the role IPOB may likely be playing in this whole scenario, like it, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. What the chairman emeritus of their communication high chief raymond Dokbesi has said that the south is cannot be trusted with the presidency as a result of the activities and rising profile of the indigenous people of biafra biafra reacting to a media report which criticizes insistence on the position of the presidency remaining in the north beyond 2023 as against the popular demand that the presidency should move to the south Dokbesi insisted that his position was based on current realities I quote him, I have publicly come out to support and call on the Southeastern presidential candidate in the recent past, but the emergence of the indigenous people of Biafra and its influence across the Southeast has complicated and undermined the agitation for patriotic Nigerians of Igbo extraction to lead this country as far as the 2023 election is concerned. If nobody has told Ohani is in Debo before, the concern today from some other regions is that if Namdekano plays the role of Ago in Rosie in leading a militant revolt against constitutional government in the Southeast under Igbo presidency, the president will be pressured by his base to facilitate the United Nations processes for Southeast to call for independence from Nigeria. Thus, an Igbo president may be compromised in protecting the political and geographical uh, boundaries of Nigeria whilst Nigeria remains under the threat of indigenous people of Biafra secessionist activities. Let's read the text in full. I read with amusement an article published on, in this day newspaper on Sunday, the 17th of October 2021, with the headline, Is Dogbus is Suffering from Inferiority Complex? in which my statement pertains to the PDP's best chances of winning the 2023 election. Being tied to the PDP producing a Northern candidate was alleged to be based on my ties and relationships with prominent Northern businessmen and politicians and having an inferiority complex about Southern Nigerians political ambitions. The authors and sponsors of this piece will naturally feel incensed by my statement and would say anything to discredit me to continue to protect and promote the interest of aspirants from their zone. I can understand that I, I can understand that and I have no love lost for any southerner who takes a similar stance. However, I believe we are in perilous and their strength. As a nation and for those of us in opposition to the ruling party we must ask the bigger question of nigeria before our personal or ethnic interest and have a frank conversation about what we need to do as a people to win back power from apc in 2023 i unapologetically believe in one nigeria and believe that nigeria can only remain united and in peace on the basis of fairness equity and justice. I believe like-minded like Nigerians understands the ideological principle of zoning as a form of affirmative action to guarantee the opportunity of leadership to every part of the country irrespective of the geographic and demographic dominance of any region, size, or population. Since 1960, only 10 states have produced presidents or heads of state in Nigeria. While some of these 10 states have produced more than one president, the entire Southeast region hasn't produced president or head of state since the First Republic. And still another region, the Northeast, has never ever produced neither president nor head of state since 1960 till date. Likewise, 
until assumption of office by President Goodluck Jonathan. The South South had never been then produced a president or even head of state. Mm. Clearly, the politics that have been governed how have governed how leadership is determined under both military and democratic system of government have been unfair to both the northeast and the southeast i have both the belief and the confidence that both regions have more than eminent and capable sons for leadership of this country as indeed all regions have but in determining my position based on consultations across the country i have found out that going into 2023 elections, the Northeast is better positioned to negotiate victory in 2023, given the peculiarities and national security challenges confronting Nigeria today. By the grace of God, I will be 70 years in just a few days, so I have nothing to fear in saying what so many people may not want to say or have the courage to tell you. I have said my truth before and paid a price for it, but that will not deter me from saying the truth. And I also know it and I, and I see it the way it is again. So let me indulge you in a short history lesson and correlate it to the context of the present day Nigeria against which the Southeast will be negotiating power with different regions of the country. On 14 January 1966, soldiers of mostly Igbo extraction led by Major Chukuma Kaduna Nzeugu, an Igbo from Akwanam near Asaba, present day Delta State, eradicated the uppermost alien, alien of politicians from the northern and western provinces. These and other factors affect effectively led to the fall of the Republican government. Though Agu and Rosie, an Igbo, was purportedly slated for assassination. He effectively took control of Lagos, the federal capital territory, as a den, with President also an Igbo. Ibo Manam there is as if were refusing to intervene and ensure the continuity of civilian rule. Agri was effectively compelled the remaining members of Balewa's government to resign, seeing that the government was in disarray. He then allowed the Senate president, Wafo Rizu, another Igbo who was serving as acting president in Azikiwa's absence, to officially surrender power to him, thus ending the first republic. First Nigerian Republic. The event of that day ultimately led to the chaos and the prosecution of the entire Igbo race, an account of a similar conspiracy between some politicians and military of Igbo extraction to pursue an ethnic agenda. On the surrender of Biafra to Nigeria, Yakubu Gowon declared no victor, no vanquished. But clearly, since the, since the regions that have determined leadership have used this against the Southeast and denied Igbo the opportunity to lead, should that be used against the leaders and sons of Southeast today? Of course not. I publicly come out to support and call on the Southeastern presidential candidate in recent past, but the emergence of IPOB and its influence across Southeast has complicated and un undermine the agitation for patriotic Nigerians of Igbo extraction to lead this country as far as 2023 election is concerned. If nobody has told Ohane Zendibo before, the concern today from some other region is that if Nam Nikano plays the role of Agon Rezu in leading a militant revolt against the constitutional government in Southeast under Igbo presidency, the president will be pressured by his base to facilitate the UN processes for Southeast to call for independence from Nigeria. He now went further. He said, "Don't shoot me. I'm not. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a messenger. It is. It is unfair. But neither the South South nor the South East nor the North East have the votes combined to determine the presidency on their own. We have to negotiate with other regions, and where prominent leaders express such concerns based on similarities of our history and um, contemporary circumstances, it indicates to me." that the southeast is not trusted with presidency in 2023 it indicates to me that the leaders of the southeast have not done enough before now in dealing with and addressing the challenge that ipob poses to their aspirations in leading nigeria why and what do you do you do to change this narrative is a question for leaders and politicians from the southeast to determine but you can see and understand why in pdp must take a realistic, pragmatic, and strategic approach towards supporting the Northeast zone for presidency come 2023. In Atiku Abubakar, excuse me, I guess that's where we're going to wrap it up. I guess is um, in all, let's meet in the conversation. He has actually said it all. Uh,